Hi, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Single Virgo. If you are a Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or however Virgo uh, may show up on your astrological natal chart, especially in areas or houses focusing on love or relationships, then these messages are for you. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And if you're interested in learning more about me, my client testimonial, or my credentials, just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. And if you're interested in following me on my social media uh, platforms, then take a look underneath the banner and you will see a list of my social media platforms, okay? Now, for those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free channel messages. And the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channel messages. And if you haven't done so already, remember, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content upload or whenever I go live on my live stream. All right, so Virgo, today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what potential blessings or energies may be coming in your direction, so focusing solely on your love life, okay? Now, before I do that, I do want to take a sneak peek in your past or recent past. As you may know, Mercury is in retrograde, and this is a great opportunity to see, uh, especially for those of you who may go back into this energy of reflection uh, or reflective energy. And sometimes, you know, um, you know, it, it resurfaces either lessons or reflections that we need to take a look at when Mercury is in retrograde. So sometimes we tend to go back in time. And for that, I figured let's do a little sneak peek of your past or recent past in your love life. So we'll start with that and then we'll jump into the blessings or the energies that may be coming in your direction in your love life, okay? All right, so let's take a look here, Virgo. Past or recent past in Virgo's love life. Now, of course, take what resonate, what resonates, and, um, you know, if it doesn't, it's fine. Let's take a look here, and you have two little witches, magical space clearing time, and you have grumpy red fairy, be your true self. Now, the two little witches, it says space clearing. For some of you, there may have been here in your past or recent past, in a maybe in your past connection or just in your love life, okay? Um, that you may have felt that you may have outgrown a person, a situation, or an environment or a connection. It was as if, or it's coming across as if there was a time, especially here with be true to yourself, grumpy red fairy. It may have been a time of transition for you, or you may have gone through some transformative type of energy here in your love life, in your past or recent past. There's a sense of duality here. As if perhaps that the reason or the energy here in your love life in the past or recent past, as if there was the sense of kind of like one foot here and another foot here, right? It's kind of like teetering here of some sorts. There may have been here for some of you, not for all of you, but in some situations here, there could have been this kind of like in between either two things of great importance or two people, meaning someone else, like two people, not including you. <laughs> so there could have been here, like maybe you've seen two people or maybe 
the person you were with was, you know, seeing two people. But there's this energy of one person and another person here. And it's like being confused about which way to go or how to deal with these two energies. Because this could be just two energies. It doesn't have to be two people. It could be two situations. It could be two important situations. So it doesn't have to be a person. But whatever this is, it's like, again, I'm getting like one foot in one section and another foot in another section. And it's like, you know, like needing time to take a step back to clear your energy, clear your head, clear or clean up your energetic space. Or in some situations, take a step back in order to be able to see something clearer. Be your true self is coming across as there could have been here an energy in your love life in the past or recent past where you were either, it's I'm getting here, it's like a growth situation, like outgrowing something here. And you know, when you're in the middle of that kind of like one step here, one step here, it's like you're outgrowing this and you're growing into this, but there's this kind of like, I want to, I, I want to acknowledge is, is this is how it's coming across. Like you wanting to acknowledge your authentic self, but feeling as if you are restricted, so to speak, or feeling as if there's a, a parting here. Let's see what else comes through here. I feel here that, you know, there were moments here in your past or recent past, whether, you know, it was a connection or, you know, a, re a reoccurring or a, a storyline here that's coming across, maybe in your past connection here, where someone may have been very, how do I explain this? Like sensitive, like triggered easily. Like maybe grumpy, upset of the fact that you may have either needed space in order to clear something or the fact that your attention may have been, been pulled into two things here. And I'm getting it's like you want to be your true authentic self. But that may have meant leaving a person or a situation or a connection and that person not really understanding that. Now that could be you or it could be another person. The roles can be reversed here. So take whatever may resonate. But that's how this is coming across. Someone wanting to be their authentic self, the other person not really understanding what it what it entails to be in that type of dynamic when someone is in the middle of transformation or outgrowing certain things let's take a look here at what else is coming through for you in your past now remember this is your past energy here in your love life yeah look at that is that exactly what i just said there's there's a feeling here of someone <laughs> exactly uh, talk about validation confirmation. Someone being enlightened and someone feeling rejected. Exactly what I said here. Again, you get the number two here. Yeah, and I'm also getting control here. Some Someone micromanaging something here. So in the past or recent past, there may have been Someone who felt rejected, whether that was you or whether that was the other person. There was a sense here of someone feeling dismissed or not as important to the other person. There could have been here a very clear expected outcomes or an expectation 
and that expectation here becoming the tension that created this energy here of being angry or being rejected or being dismissed of some sorts. It's like as someone is awakening, the other person is feeling as if they're, you know, they're, they're slipping away, right? So one person is coming to the sense of awareness and the other person, or the, uh, one person wants to be more, be in their true self, whatever that is for, for you or this other person. And it's like the more this other person is doing or growing or outgrowing, the more the other person is feeling as if they are losing either energetic, that energetic connection or that it's being pulled apart. And they kind of, in a way, it's like someone here felt like something was coming to an end. And what, what you resist is what persists. So there's this feeling here of the more this person was resistant to this change or to this outgrowing type of energy, the more of this dismissive in their mind or this rejection energy like there was more momentum in that, like that grew, like resentment even grew here as well. Last but not least, let's take a look here at what else is coming through here in your past or recent past. And then we're going to take a look at your, um, look at that six of swords and the devil energy. I told you validation, confirmation, exactly what I just said. Someone here felt like they needed to leave this relationship, whether that was you or the other person. There was a sense here of outgrowing something. Look at that. The double energy. Capricorn is coming through here. The person doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but it could be Capricorn season or they may have a lot of earth in their chart. Capricorn is an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They may have had those placements somewhere on their astrological chart. Not that's that's not a. You know, that's not necessary, but I'm just giving you that. They could have also been an air sign, Gemini, Virgo. I'm sorry, Gemini, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Um, but yeah, there was something toxic here for sure. And look at this. The, all these cards are right under the other in the area that seems to be the most toxic. Or the most okay for a lack of a better word i said toxic but for something that that tends to be a little bit more lower vibrational energy right there's something here that wasn't up to par in this connection or in your love life in the past or recent past okay could have been someone even micromanaging or being a little bit controlling here about something a lack of moderation here as well. Maybe someone be being a workaholic and that being here, one of the things that, you know, the other person may have felt as if there was a distance being created because of that energy. But let's take a look here at what's coming through for you as blessings that are coming up for you. So what blessings are coming through for you here, Virgo, in the month of August? Now, August, we have Mercury in retrograde. And, uh, ooh, sorry. Here we go. You have friendship, attachment, manifestation. Great time for you to manifest, um, Virgo because of that portal, Lionsgate portal. If you miss, if I end up posting this after the peak of that portal, because the peak of that portal is August 8th, you still have to like August 11th or 12th, somewhere around there, still time to manifest. So in your sector here of the potential 
blessings or energies that are coming in your direction in regards to your love life, there could be here a friendship. A connection that starts off as friendship. Okay? It could be within your circle, social circle. Someone that you know or someone that you're getting to know. It's coming across as someone that you've been getting to know over time. And this friendship may become something a little bit more. Because there's something about this connection with this person or this energy that you may generate automatically or effortlessly with this person that it kind of gives you a glimpse here of you thinking in your mind, how could it be, or I wonder how this would, how this person would be if, you know, if I were to be in a connection with them, you know, it's like kind of like that energy of thinking some of you are still very much connected to this energy here of a heartbreak, a separation, breakup, divorce, or this energy here of sadness and hurt here from this situation here. Because this person is literally chained to a log or chained to something here. So there's a part of you that would like to entertain the thought of Maybe this person, and it's coming across as someone that comes to your mind. It could be even someone that brightens up your day because this face is coming across as being very bright. The eyes are closed, but yet you see all these people here. So even if you may have a lot of people around you, there's someone very specific here that calls your attention or calls, if it's not your attention, it calls your energy to that specific person, because guess what? There are many people here. However, there's only one person who is standing out among the rest. And whomever that may be for you here in the month of August, Virgo, it's coming across as something that you may have been manifesting, wishing, praying, or there you go. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> there you go, sirens. <clears throat> excuse me. Kind of like, yep, <clears throat> you've been manifesting here or you've been thinking about wondering. There was a sense of you wondering or calling in. Not because you need to, not because you have to, but because there's, um, this is coming across as it's even like, it's like your soul. It's not so much your mind. Right? It's not so much your mind saying, I want or I would like for it to be this person. It's like your soul is calling you in a certain direction here. And it's a direction that you have either manifested in the past or recent past or will be manifesting here in the month of August. So if you watch this reading after the Lionscape portal and you were manifesting, Okay, I thought something flipped over. And, well, now it did. <laughs> and you were manifesting something. It felt like it was something that was going to flip over. Um, and you were manifesting. This is, in a way, kind of giving you validation, confirmation that either the qualities of the person that you were manifesting could be present in someone that you may know already or you are getting to know or your soul is calling you towards. Guess what, Virgo? You have... The Justice card, Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Two of Wands. Wow, you have a lot here. I'm going to go through this very quickly, but this could be a little bit longer than expected. This is how this is coming across. Number one, Justice card. Okay? There's a Libra connection here in some way, shape, or form. So... For some of you, something may be happening during Libra season, okay? 
there could be some type of either this connection blooming or friendship. I should say friendship because that's how it's coming across. It's like it's coming across as being friends first is of utmost importance here. There's not some you don't want to rush into anything in the month of uh, August here. So justice card Libra here is important. So air signs Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That could be of importance here. Nine of Wands, there's a sense of perseverance. You're looking at things very objectively. So there's this blessing of you allowing yourself to kind of look at the pros and cons of something. Of course, very Virgo energy. The pros and cons of something. Really look at fine-tune, being analytical, logical, uh, diplomatic here. And not only <clears throat> what you speak about, but also what you may write about. Is how this is coming across. You got the swords and you have some documents there. Remember, this is about your love life. So I'm going to keep it at that. Because I, for a part of me, wanted to go into career real quick there. But no. Nine of Wands, there's a perseverance. There's a sense of passion. Perseverance. There's a part of you that may be, again, that part of you is coming up as like a soul type of connection here. A soul Someone is catching your eye, but not your physical eye. It feels like your intuitive eyes. <laughs> Ten of Cups is, of course, emotional fulfillment here, but also looking at something um, from a standpoint of, you know, wanting to connect with someone here. Now, Ten of Cups is about emotional fulfillment, but Ten of Cups is also about that happiness and that harmony, that exchange. So whomever it is that you have been either speaking to or will be speaking with or creating a deeper sense of friendship or already have a friendship with, there's this sense here of, of, of offering each other that type of emotional harmony. Because if you look at this person's face, it's like they are as equally into this person as this person may be into that person. So there's this exchange energy here, emotional. Page of Pentacles, making small moves, whether through communication, as in through messages, or whether it's the beginning stages here of starting to ground something here in regards to friendship. Ace of Cups, beautiful energy here. You know, there could be romantic opportunities coming up for you. But for whatever reason here, Virgo, is as if you are hesitating. Two of Wands here. Not making a move in something here. You're going to wait. Plan, assess. Like I said, I said that a little while ago, Virgo energy, planning, assessing, looking before jumping in or making a move. For some of you, it's like you want to make sure that this is reciprocal. For others of you, you know that there is this energy or that this energy exists. Whether you know in knowledge or whether your soul recognizes it here in the month of August. But there's a sense here of Ace of Cups. There's an emotional here or even intuitive because Cups energy is not only emotion, but it's also the deep con connection here to the intuition. So it's as if your intuition here is pulling you. And again, I'm, I'm going back to this card because this is exactly where this is coming towards energetically for me. Ace of Cups. There's a friendship here being built or starting off. And there's this energy here of you just taking your time in that. You're looking at it. You're assessing. You may be even looking from afar. This person may not even know. It may not be even aware that you are even looking at them. Or could potentially be here looking at them. In that way of a potential candidate or person that you would like to get to know a little deeper with because it's coming across very you know kind of like looking from afar for some of you this could be someone at a distance because the two of wands is a out of distance you know for especially with um 
connections and connections and separation. Definitely here. All right, let's see what's coming up. I accept myself wholly and unconditionally. Now, this is the mindset that you need to have in order to maximize these beautiful blessings here in your love life. I accept my, myself wholly and unconditionally, especially with this um, attachment card here. It's like you coming to an awareness here that certain things need to be let go of permanently so that you are able to move in the direction here or flow kind of be able to look at this either friendship or connection without a sense of something holding you back and i am enough again self-sabotaging thoughts or limited beliefs here may be holding something back here in regards to your love life but this blessing is saying in order for you to maximize these blessings these are the mindsets that you need to have. I accept myself wholly and unconditionally, and I am enough. Virgo, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.